During the campaigns for the August 2022 general elections, the presidential candidates made numerous promises in their manifestos to woo the electorate to their side. During his inauguration speech on 13th September 2022, President William Ruto made numerous promises to be implemented within the first 100 days in his office. The first 100 days of President William Ruto's term in office came to an end on 23rd December 2022. We anchored our campaign on the platform of the economy pre pre premise on job creation and the well-being of the people of Kenya and we have been working continuously on the measures to bring down the cost of living. These generally are then, you know, the 13 areas that the president promised to work on on the 13th of September. 13 pledges made on his inauguration, inauguration uh, day and during his inauguration speech on the 13th of, of September. And Kenyans have given their feedback on what they believe to be his performance in his first 100 days. In a survey conducted between 21st December and 22nd December by Infotrack, the survey covered 47 counties and all the eight regions of Kenya. And today they unveiled its findings showing an overall score of 52.1% with special attention to economic sector, where the Kenyans need the president to lower the cost of living. Focusing on four key issues of economy, governance, gender equality, and infrastructure, lowering the cost of living, making food affordable and accessible to Kenyans, enhancing financial inclusion through establishment of 50 billion hustler fund, improving the lives of low-income earners through tax relief, and better working condition for informal traders were among the economic scorecard that Kenyans ended up scoring. President Ruto, Amin Scott, of 49 percent with best score going to hustler fund with 56 percent and worst score going to food security with 40 percent on governance which included kenyans determining the reforming institutions involved in justice law and order such as dci nps ESCC AG DPP, Judiciary and appointing the sixth judge rejected by Uhuru Kenyatta to enhance efficiency in the judiciary scoring 56%, with judges' appointment scoring 57% and 55% reforms of justice, law and order sector. My administration will scale up the budgetary allocation to the judiciary by an additional 3 billion shillings annually for the next five years. I will appoint the six judges already nominated for appointment to the Court of Appeal, which was done three years ago. Gender equality docket scored 53% overall, with specific focus on promoting of gender equality through fair appointment of women in senior positions, establishment of women's rights agency in the office of the president, and implementing two-third gender rule during his appointments. So, wale wanajaribu kuniarakisha mimi nataka niwaambie mos mos pole pole wacha tupange kwanza uchumi wa Kenya iwe on the right footing we cannot continue kujenga uchumi wetu tukitumia tukikopa pesa na ile pesa tunakopa ni ile wengine wamefanya saving lazima tuanze kujenga savings yetu kama taifa ndio tuweze kujenga msingi wa taifa letu katika pesa ambazo tunakusanya kutoka wa Kenya. Returning port operations to Mombasa to revive business at the coastal region and surrounding areas led to President's scorecard on infrastructure garnering 60% way above all sectors in the Kenya Kwanza presidency. This comes few days after President William Ruto told off his critics to give him time to stabilize the country since he had inherited a country of debts. For Ebro TV, Amode Francis.